Hey guys, in this video we'll be discussing three difficult combination questions. I suggest that you pause the question and try yourself first before I go through it with you. Let's get right to the first question. In the final round of cooking competition, Adam had to choose one fish dish, two vegetable dishes, two dessert dishes to cook from the list above. Eve chose after Adam and had to cook three dishes each of any two types of dishes. Both participants were not allowed to choose the same dish. So there's a condition here. They are not allowed to choose the same dish. They have to choose different dishes. So once the choice is made, that cannot be repeated. This is what we have to take away from this question. Let's look at A. Find the number of ways Adam can choose his dishes. Adam has first pick. There's no limit to his options. In this case, we'll be using combination instead of permutation. And the reason for this is we are only choosing you are choosing from the list. There is no order here. For combination, the order of arrangement doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which fish dish he chooses first, as long as he chooses the fish dish. So there's no order here. Therefore, the number of ways that he can choose the fish dish, altogether there are four dishes. He needs to choose one. That would be 4C1. This is for the fish dish. And then he needs to choose two vegetable dishes. So for the vegetable dishes, there are six options, which means this will be 6C2. He's choosing two out of six vegetable dishes. So we multiply here for the second choice. This is for the veg. And then finally, he has to choose two dessert dishes out of a total of five. So this will be 5C2, choosing two out of five. And this is for the dessert dish. So the total number of ways that he can choose would be 600. Total of 600 ways. Adam has many choices. I'm going to show you how to do this on the calculator. So you take the calculator and then you press 4 and then shift C. Press shift and then press the C button as you can see on the screen. And then you press 1. And then you just do multiplication as usual. So times, and then you follow on. 6C2 and 5C2. And you get the answer. You get 600. Now let's go to the difficult part of the question. Find the number of ways Eve can choose her dishes. Eve is choosing second, which means the number of dishes have now been reduced. Adam has already chosen one fish dish, which means now there are only three left. Two vegetable dishes, so there are only four left and two dessert dishes, so there are only three left. Again here, the order doesn't matter. Which dish he chose doesn't matter. So we don't have to worry which one he chose. We just have to remember that the total number has been reduced. That is all. So the number of dishes left will be three, four, and three. Now Eve can choose from this. Eve has to cook three dishes each from any two types of dishes, which means she can choose either to cook fish and vegetable, or fish and dessert, or vegetable and dessert. Now we have to do calculation three times. Let's look at fish and vegetables first. If Eve chose to do fish and vegetables, then the number of ways would be, she has to choose three, fish, her options are three. Three from three, so that would be three C3. And then she has to choose from vegetable dishes. Vegetable dishes, she has four choices left. So that would be three from four. So that would be four C3. This is for the fish, and this is for the veg. And this would equal to four ways. There's a total of four ways to choose fish and vegetables. So what if she decided to do fish and dessert instead? Fish and dessert. That would be... Again, fish would be 3C3, this would be for fish. And for dessert, she has to choose 3 out of a total of 3 again. So this will be 3C3 as well for dessert. 3C3 is just 1. So the total number of ways would be 1 way. She has no choice. If she chose fish and dessert, she has to choose what is left. So there's 1 way and 1 way. There's only one option. What if she chose vegetable and dessert? 
that would be 4C3 for vegetable and 3C3 for dessert. The total number of weights here would equal to 4 as well, 4 weights. Now we've calculated all the three possible combinations of dishes, of types of dishes. And so what is the total number of ways that she can choose? We have to just add them all together. The total number of ways would be equals to 4 plus 1 plus 4, which is equals to 9. Eve has a total of 9 ways she can choose to cook her dishes. Let's look at number 2. The happy company had four job vacancies with identical job descriptions. Four men and seven women applied for the job. Find the number of ways to choose four people to fill up the job vacancy. Here, the question is designed to cause confusion. If you think about it, there are four job vacancies and four people need to fill the job. So the question is actually very simple. There are four men and seven women who applied for the job, which means there's actually a total of 11 people. There's 11 people who applied for the job and out of the 11 people, you need to choose 4 people. There's no criteria here. So actually the number of ways is very simple. Number of ways will be equals to 11 C 4. That is all. We are choosing 4 people out of 11 people. And that would be equals to 330 ways. We can choose 4 people out of 11 people to fill the job vacancies. Let's look at the third question. Given that PCQ is equals to PCR and Q is not equals to R, express P in terms of Q and R. In this case, you have to understand the concept of combination. You have to understand the application of the formula. I'm going to use an example to show you how to do this. Let's make let P equals to 5 as an example and let q equals to 3. Let's write out the formula here. PCQ would be equals to P factorial divided by P minus Q factorial times Q factorial. Substituting our values for P and Q, 5C3 would be equals to 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. This would be equals to 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. So this is what we get with 5C3. Now, let me show you what happens when we use R. Let's take, let R be equals to P minus Q. So we are going to take the original P minus Q. This would be 5 minus 3 which is equals to 2. So let r be equals to 2. So 5c2 will equals to 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And this is equals to 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So you see we end up with exactly the same thing. It's just a different order in the denominator. But 3 factorial times 2 factorial is the same as 2 factorial times 3 factorial because it's a multiplication. What do you notice here? This is 3, this is 2. When you have combination and we have two different R values, 3 and 2, the combination can still be the same if they sum up to be N. So 2 plus 3 must equal to 5. When they are the same, then you would get the same value. You can test this for other values as well. You can try 1 and 4. 5C4 will be equals to 5C1. They will be the same. How then do we express P in terms of Q and R? If PCQ is the same as PCR, then there's only one possibility. P is equals to Q plus R. Q and R must sum up to be P. If you've learned something from this video, guys, please do me a favor and hit that like button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much for doing that. And if you find it helpful, do share it with your friends as well. You never know who will benefit from this video. If you do enjoy a video like this, subscribe because I'll be producing at least one video a week and I will see you in the next video.